In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the simple edit window that you're going to see in the AE Juice Pack Manager. So let's get into it. So you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you've got a brand new composition created. In order to edit something, we need to actually load up the AE Juice Pack Manager. So we'll just open this up and let's go into Cyberpunk HUD and let's select Story 01. So we're first just going to begin by importing this into After Effects. I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to select import and create comp. So that's just going to download all of the files required for Story 01 in the Cyberpunk HUD pack. Then it's going to put all of that into a brand new composition for us inside of Adobe After Effects. So as you can see, we've got this edit story 01 menu, which is now just on the left of our preview window. And now we can make all of the changes to this and it's just going to update live. So you can see we can go into text 01 and we can change this to whatever we like. So I'm just going to pop AE juice in there and you can see we can change the font. So let's go for monster app maybe. And we can also change the size of this by increasing this or decreasing this. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to decrease that down to around 150 or so. Then we can change this number here. And of course, again, you can change the font of this. So we'll go into here and we'll just select any one of these fonts. And that's just going to update in the background. And again, you can change the size of this and that will update accordingly. Then you've got this subtitle here. So AE Juice Tutorial we'll put. And we'll change the font of this as well to something really random. So let's go for symbol. And you can see we can change the size of this as well just by dragging this number up or down. Then you've got all of these different color boxes here as well. So you've got story elements color 01. Then you've got story elements color 2, story elements color 3, color 4. Then you've got color correction. Then you've got text color 01. You've got all of these different settings. And then you've got your position here as well. So let's go through some of these color boxes. So let's just move through the space to see where we can see this red. If we press show, it's going to see what we are working with here. So if we change this red to a blue, and then we zoom back in on this, you can see the red was those small details. So if we change this to yellow, you can see that blue is going to turn yellow. Great. So let's move on to the next one. So let's go for an orange on this one. There we go, that's all changed to orange now. The next color down will go to white. Then the next color down will go to an orange again, so a bright orange. Now we've got color correction, so we can just lean this towards the oranges again. And as you can see, that's just going to update in real time. We'll keep working through doing this process. Then you've got color correction opacity, glitch color hue, so you can drag this to change the look of that. As you can see, if I just increase this and just play with this number, it's just going to keep changing. Then we've got our text color, so I can change text color 01 to a white. Text color 02, I'm gonna make orange. That's this one here. Text color three, which is this blue AE juice, I'm gonna make that orange as well. There we go, text color four is there. Stroke color, I'm gonna make white. And then of course you've got elements, color, text, data, color, text, stroke, color. So I can change this to a different color if you wanted. So let's go for a yellow on this. Now we can actually increase the size of the stroke and the stroke is just the outline around that text. So I'm just going to pull that down to around seven or eight, just so it's a bit more subtle. And then I'm just going to change that stroke color to something more noticeable, like the black maybe. There we go. So we're now seeing that. Then down here, we've got text opacity, text stroke opacity, symbol on slash off. So if we toggle that, you can see what that's going to do. This is just this AE juice text. So if you didn't want that there, you can just turn that off. Then you've got symbol scale, so you can increase or decrease the size of that. Then of course, you've got symbol position X, symbol position Y, text 01 on slash off, text 01 scale, text 02 up scale position distortion size we can increase this to add some distortion if you wanted and then of course you've got music down here so you can choose a file and you can upload some music onto this composition and that will just be imported into your comp but once you're happy with how that looks all you have to do is just press ok and then that is imported into your project inside of adobe after effects and there you go. If you're new to Adobe After Effects, then I would really recommend using the simple editor because everything is laid out in very easy to understand language. 
when you're jumping into After Effects and you're jumping into pre-comps and you have to navigate your way through all of these different layers and pre-compositions, it can get really complex. So if you're just using this simple editor inside of AE Juice and you're editing live next to the composition, that's just going to be a really easy way to get these sorts of effects that you're looking for. So if you're new to After Effects or you just want to very quickly edit a preset or an animation, then I would recommend using this simple editor because it's really intuitive and it updates in real time.